Hello viewers. Megan is expected to make a smashing debut on a major UK reality TV show. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. Meghan Markle has never participated in a reality television program. But in the 2010s, when she joined the main cast of the US legal drama Suits, she established herself as an actress. According to reality TV star Nicola McLean, Meghan Markle would smash it if she appeared on a future episode of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. The television personality, who visited the jungle in 2008 and the celebrity Big Brother house in 2012, acknowledged that it is extremely unlikely that members of the royal family would join the ITV reality show like Mike Tyndall a rugby champion and princess and son-in-law. But when asked what she thought about the possibility of royals appearing on I'm a Celebrity in the future, Ms. McLean told the Daily Star, to be completely honest, we would never be able to get them on. But we can dream, right? I believe Meghan would succeed there because she has shown herself to be utterly ruthless and ambitious. I also believe she would have the mental fortitude to just get down and really go for it. She continued that Prince Harry would do well in the jungle given his military experience. She went on, she just truly elicits such a negative response from people. I fail to comprehend it. They don't bother me at all, even though I'm not a royalist. However, I do believe they'd fit in there well. I believe that the jungle is a better place to live than the royal family because everyone is raised to be able to handle any situation. In another news. The Queen's heartbreak was made public after she was unable to see Prince Philip before his death. Prince Philip passed away on April 9, 2021, at the age of 99. As a result of ongoing lockdown restrictions, the royal family said goodbye at a scaled-back funeral. In a new book about Her Majesty, a friend of the royal family alleges that Prince Philip passed away before the Queen could attend to him. Just a few months shy of turning 100, the Duke of Edinburgh passed away in 2021 at Windsor Castle, where he and Queen Elizabeth had resided ever since the Covid lockdown began. The Duke of Edinburgh was reportedly lying in a hospital bed in his dressing room at Windsor, according to an excerpt from Brandreth's upcoming book, Elizabeth, an intimate portrait, that was posted on Mail Online. Added him, he was assisted by a nurse as he went to the restroom that morning. He claimed to feel a little dizzy and needed assistance getting back into bed when he returned. Paul Wybrew, the page for the Queen and the Duke's valet, was called for assistance by the nurse but passed away before the Queen could be contacted. The Queen, according to Mr. Brandreth's book, allegedly battled cancer in the last few months of her life. He stated, I had learned that the Queen had a bone marrow cancer-related form of myeloma which would account for her fatigue weight loss, and those mobility issues we were frequently told about during the last year or so of her life. The most prevalent myeloma symptom is bone pain, which is particularly prevalent in the pelvis and lower back. Multiple myeloma is a condition that frequently affects elderly people. At this time, there is no known cure, but treatment can lessen the severity of its symptoms and increase the patient's survival by months or two to three years, including medications to help regulate the immune system and drugs that help prevent the weakening of the bones. During significant royal events, Kate wrangled Charles by overshadowing him and stealing the spotlight. In a move reminiscent of Princess Diana, Kate stole the show during the King and South African President's first state visit. One of King Charles's first significant events as the head of the kingdom was a state dinner at Buckingham Palace with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. But Kate, Princess of Wales, stole the show because she was the centre of attention the entire time. Richard Eden, the diary editor for the Daily Mail, observed that the king is in the same predicament as he was with Princess Diana. Thanks for watching.